I would say my genre is my take on street photography. I like to capture the emotion and moments that go on around me, as well as the essence of places and people. My name's Lucy Hamidzada. I'm based in London and I'm a photographer and writer. Black and white for me, it brings you to the essence of an image. It's drawing you in and not just taking a photo of the surface. I think you see more. It's just more compelling and a more powerful image. The style and design of the ZF, it's a beautiful looking camera. The lever on the Nikon ZF is genius. The transition from colour to black and white in just one flick, it's just seamless. Actually shooting in black and white was really exciting because you're seeing the world in black and white. You're tuning your eye to see what works well in the environment that you're in. You're having to be more creative because of the absence of colour. The lighting plays an important part in black and white. With monochrome, you're relying on the contrast between the light and the dark to build the narrative. So monochrome works brilliantly for chasing light because you get sharp shadows and detail. Texture is really exaggerated in black and white. You can see like someone's skin, you know, the follicles of hair and skin detail. So I'm always looking out for that texture. Monochrome, deep tone monochrome, and flat monochrome. The three modes all work differently. So the monochrome mode is quite contrasty. It's got a journalistic kind of documentary feel to it when you're out shooting. So it works really well in street scenes. Deep tone monochrome adds an overall darker feel to your images. And for that, what really worked well was where you had a really, really bright backlit sky or a shop that was really bright. The image that I took that was backlit, the shadows were darker, but you could also still see detail in the shadows. Another of the images, there was some interesting clouds going on. In deep tone monochrome, the sky appears darker, but the clouds really stood out and the stairs really popped. And flat monochrome, it works brilliantly with portraits. It just has a softness to it. You could see details, you could see the skin, you could see eyelashes, you could see someone's eyes just popping. You've got those layers. They don't feel harsh and dramatic, they're just softer. With the ZF, you can customise even further in camera. So you can add a slight blue hue, you can add some highlight, you can experiment with that in your camera. You're carving your own identity in your work. Your work is a reflection of you. I want my work to be unique to me. For me, my camera becomes my best friend. I want it to be an extension of me and I want it to become part of me. Not only is it powerful, the ZF's got an iconic, comfortable feel. It became an extension of me when I was shooting with it. 